Hello Lancer fans and welcome back to another semester full of the best plays and moments across Longwood Athletics. I'm Emily McNamara and I'll be with you for all the top plays and stories coming to you in the spring of 2022. Picking up where we left off before, we'll begin with our top three plays from the previous week. Coming in at number three, Justin Hill with the ball in Willett Hall making a move to the right over to Wade. Now he takes it in and a slip pass for the slam dunk by number zero. Leslie cashes it in. Stadium was shaking after that one. Now to number two, it's Longwood women against Winthrop and it's McMakin with the fourth quarter fade away. She grabs that one bucket of her 27 final points on the night and that was a personal second best on the season for number one. And at number one for our top three plays, it has to be this play. Ball in Justin Hill's hands yet again. Time winding down behind him. He makes a move once, twice. He gets all the way to the bucket and one. He'll make the free throw following that huge layup for a huge Lancer win. It's been a history-making season for both the women and men's programs. Both programs have had their best conference starts since joining the Division I level. For the women, they started off 4-0 in the Big South for the first time ever, topping the team's previous best start 3-0 10 years ago in 2012-2013 season. Now sitting at 6-2 in the conference, over the weekend the women had back-to-back -back games against Gardner-Webb and Winthrop grabbing a 2-0 record with an 86-75 win over the running Bulldogs on Saturday and a massive victory over the Eagles 85-58. And as for the men, they also added two wins last week. On Wednesday, the Lancers had a come from behind win in the second half, pushing them past Campbell 72 to 64. And over the weekend, as we saw earlier, a buzzer beating and one from sophomore guard Justin Hill put the Lancers on top over Presbyterian 71 to 70. These two wins add to the hot start for men's hoops, putting the Lancers at 4-0 in the Big South, winning five straight. The team is now only one of two teams in the conference that remain unbeaten. The team improves to an overall record of 12-5, with both the conference and overall record representing the program's best in the Division I era. Lancer Central's Victoria Coleman highlights the historic season for the Lancers and has more on all its accomplishments so far. The Lancer men's basketball team have had an impressive start to the 2021-2022 season. They started with the loss at Iowa but quickly regained footing with a four-game win streak versus the Virginia University of Lynchburg, Mid-Atlantic Christian, American University, and UMBC. A breakout player in this season's start was Leslie Incarium, who was named Big South Player of the Week on November 22nd and has solidified himself as a top forward in the conference after consistently scoring in the double digits during the Jerome Kersey Classic. They picked up a couple more losses late into the pre-conference, but managed to keep six consecutive opponents under 65 points. The Lancer men closed pre-conference play with four additional wins versus Delaware State, Morgan State, Carolina University and Pfeiffer University, where Isaiah Wilkins dropped 21 points against the Falcons. The Lancer men entered conference play with an overtime win versus Radford and a home victory versus Gardner-Webb on the 15th. This 2-0 record stood as the team's best start to conference play in six seasons. Isaiah Wilkins averaged 18 points and 8.5 rebounds per these two games and was named Big South Player of the Week on the 17th of January. The men became 3-0 in conference play after a 72-64 win at home versus Campbell, where Justin Hill earned 6 assists and Jordan Perkins was the scoring leader with 14 points. Longwood basketball has been protecting their home court this season with an impressive 10-1 home record. And don't forget about spring sports. They're right around the corner as well with the women's tennis season already underway and the men who begin matches this Saturday. As for the rest, baseball, lacrosse, and softball will all have their opening games in three weeks. That'll do it for this episode of Lancer Central. And of course, to stay up to date on everything about your favorite Lancers teams, follow us on Facebook or Twitter at Longwood Lancers. For Lancer Central, I'm Emily McNamara. Have a great week.